Dear students, welcome to the next module of organic photochemical reaction that is photo oxidation reaction. So now today we are going to discuss different types of photo oxidation reaction with suitable examples. Let us enter into the topic. There are two types of photo oxidation reaction. First one is formation of peroxy compounds and second type is oxidative coupling of aromatic compounds. We will discuss one by one. If you take formation of peroxy compounds as usual here also like other photochemical reaction we are going to take sensitizer. When you irradiate your sensitizer your sensitizer will attain excited state and by being in excited state it can react by two mode. In the first mode your excited state sensitizer can interact with your substrate and followed by your substrate will produce radical the radical substrate radical can interact with the ground state oxygen and it will give a product this is first way or mode one in the second mode or way two your excited state sensitizer can interact with ground state oxygen initially followed by your ground state oxygen by getting energy from sensitizer it will go to excited state and the excited state oxygen will interact with your substrate and it will give a product and please remember here excited state oxygen will be there in singlets usually excited state substrate will attain triplet state by inter-system crossing but here your oxygen in ground state it will be there in triplet state and when you excite your oxygen will be converted into singlet so singlet excited state oxygen will interact with your substrate and will give a product now now we can discuss mode one that is formation of peroxy compound by way 1 or mode 1. Let us consider secondary alcohol reaction that is oxidation of secondary alcohol. When you are going to oxidize your secondary alcohol by this way you will get hydroxyl hydroperoxide as a product. Okay, So for this first you have to take secondary alcohol and benzophenone you have to take as a sensitizer when you are going to irradiate your benzophenone will go to excited state in excited state it will be then a triplet form so triplet benzophenone reacts with your ground state alcohol that is the substrate to give a carbon radical this carbon radical will be produced from the alcohol so different types of alcohol will produce the corresponding carbon radical and this carbon radical further it reacts with ground state oxygen and it will form corresponding hydroxyl hydroperoxide. Usefulness of this reaction is hydroxyl hydroperoxide compound is ready to undergo elimination reaction to produce carbonyl compound. Carbonyl compound is the oxidized form of alcohol and this reaction proceeds due to the better leaving group ability of hydrogen peroxide. Now we can look at the mechanism of reaction of oxidation of alcohol to carbonyl. Step 1 benzophenone that is sensitizer if you irradiate your benzophenone will go to excited state in excited state it will be then a triplet form so by radical this oxy radical will abstract a hydrogen radical from secondary alcohol so this hydrogen will go with one electron and another electron present in the sigma bond will go and sit on this carbon and it will produce corresponding hydroxy carbon radical and in step 2 this hydroxy carbon radical 
it will go and interact with ground state oxygen so one electron will come from this pi bond another electron will come from this carbon radical there will be a new bond formation between carbon and oxygen and one more electron present in this pi bond will go and sit on oxygen and it will give this product that is hydroxy per oxy radical and in third step that is propagation in the propagation step hydroxyl peroxy radical will go and abstract a hydrogen radical from another molecule of secondary alcohol and it will produce corresponding hydroxyl carbon radical and this hydroxyl peroxy radical will form hydroxyl peroxide as a product followed by this hydroxyl peroxide will undergo elimination reaction because hydrogen peroxide is a better leaving group and you'll get a corresponding carbonyl compound this is oxidized form of alcohol so the reaction is oxidation reaction now mode 2 or second way of reaction in second way of reaction your triplet state sensitizer interacts with ground state oxygen please remember ground state oxygen will be there in triplet form and it transfer its energy to oxygen so by getting energy your oxygen will attain excited state in the excited state oxygen will be there in a singlet form and the sensitizer returns to its ground state so this mechanism already we know when we discussed photodimerization reaction so excited state oxygen then directly interacts with the desired organic substrate whatever the substrate you are going to take it will interact and it will give the product here the common sensitizers are fluorescein or we can take rose bengal or we can take methylene blue so generally oxygen is more reactive towards a radicals and here the reason why we have taken fluorescein or rose bengal as a sensitizer instead of a benzophenone or some other uh, photosensitizer reason is when you take benzophenone or acetophenone you have to have uv radiation uv radiation is a high energy radiation so the high energy radiation if you supply it the high energy radiation will irradiate your substrate also that is your substrate is having a chance to undergo reaction so to avoid such kind of complexity we are going to take fluorescein and rose bengal fluorescein and rose bengal both will absorb energy from the visible light that is low energy radiation visible light cannot excite your starting material that is organic substrate to avoid complexity only we are going to take fluorescein and rose bengal and by absorbing energy from the visible light this fluorescein or rose bengal will transfer its energy to ground state oxygen the, then the ground state oxygen will attain excited state and it can comfortably interact with your organic substrate okay so under this category that is second way or mode 2 we have three types of oxidation so we can carry out three types of oxidation reaction we will look at one by one in the first type your singlet oxygen that is excited state oxygen can interact with conjugated diene so singlet oxygen reacts with the conjugated diene in a diels alder fashion so we know diels alder reaction 4 plus 2 addition reaction and it yields cyclic peroxide as a product the cyclic peroxide can produce diols through reduction reaction okay now let us let us look at the example so here we, we can have two examples conjugated diene is going to this is ground state uh, organic substrate is going to react with excited state oxygen okay by diels alder fashion so any concert so mechanism is a concerted mechanism not a radical mechanism it is a concerted mechanism delocalization of this electron new bond formation between oxygen and carbon 
followed by delocalization of this bond so i forget to add a uh, bonding i mean uh, curly arrow followed by delocalization of this curly arrow and it will form a bond between this carbon and oxygen okay so finally it'll get cyclic peroxide as a product and this reaction proceeds through four plus two oxidation so here four pi bonding electron involves and here two pi bonding electrons involve and the reaction is diels alder reaction so therefore we can denote this reaction as a or we can consider this reaction as a four plus two addition reaction this cyclic peroxide further it can undergo reduction to give diol okay so when you uh, reduce this peroxy sigma bond will undergo cleavage since this is this bond is very weak this bond is attached with the two electronegative element so this is very weak you can easily cleave so if you add suitable reducing agent you can break this bond and you'll get a diol okay syn diol as a product if you look at the second reaction this is also conjugated diin but the substrate is anthracene so when you uh, react your anthracene with excited state oxygen this oxygen will go and interact with this uh, ring in the same fashion 4 plus 2 addition reaction and it will form a peroxy linkage between this carbon and this carbon so you'll get a peroxy corresponding peroxy compound if you do reduction by taking this substrate this one also will give corresponding diol now second in the second type of reaction your excited state oxygen is going to react with alkene and alkene is having one allyl at least it should have one allyl hydrogen okay so alkene with one ion allyl hydrogen reacts with excited state oxygen in a fashion of ene reaction and it will form hydroperoxide as a product and hydroperoxide if we add a suitable reducing agent it will give allyl alcohol as a product now let us look at the reaction so this is your alkene we have one allyl hydrogen this substrate is going to react with your excited state oxygen and here delocalization of pi bond from oxygen it will form a new bond between this oxygen and hydrogen at the same time this sigma bond involves in concerted process so this will undergo cleavage to form a new pi bond here and this pi bond will undergo delocalization to form new carbon and oxygen bond difference between diels alder reaction and this reaction is in diels alder we have two pi bonds one pi bond will be there here and another pi bond will be there here so therefore the addition is 4 plus 2 addition but here we have one pi bond but another pi bond instead of another pi bond here we have only one sigma bond that sigma bond is nothing but a ch bond so instead of pi bond this ch sigma bond will undergo delocalization so if this is the reaction this reaction will be called as ene reaction it is known as ene reaction so this ene reaction will produce hydroperoxide as a product this hydroperoxide if you add a suitable reducing agent this o o peroxy linkage will undergo cleavage and it will produce corresponding alcohol the alcohol is known as allyl alcohol since oh oh functional group will be there at allylic position now in the third type of oxidation your singlet oxygen is going to react with alkene but here alkene doesn't have allylic hydrogen okay so this reaction proceeds through 2 plus 2 addition and it will form dioxetane followed by dioxetane on heating yields carbonyl compound so, so you can find the reaction so this is alkene with no allylic hydrogen it is going to react with uh, oxygen if you irradiate you'll get dioxetane so 2 plus 2 addition 2 pi electron shift of 2 pi electron shift of another 2 pi electron and it will form a sigma bond between these two carbon and oxygen and you'll get a dioxetane this is highly unstable dioxetane you cannot trap that much easily the product is less stable but suitably substituted alkene can give dioxetane in a major percentage that too with a 40 to 50 percentage product 
and this dioxetane if you are going to get this dioxetane then if you heat for some time just hand bearable heat warm if you warm for some time dioxetane will undergo cleavage to produce corresponding carbonyl compound two mole of carbonyl compound so here uh, one of the R's is hydrogen okay so here we have one hydrogen here we have another hydrogen no so therefore either this or this you can consider consider either one of the R as hydrogen now second major type of photo oxidation reaction is oxidative coupling of aromatic compound so here we are going to take uh, cis or trans tilbin and uh, if you irradiate cis or trans tilbin in presence of oxygen it will give phenanthrene as a product okay cis tilbin photocyclizes reversibly to give a small proportion of dihydrophenanthrene this dihydrophenanthrene in turn reacts irreversibly with excited state oxygen to form phenanthrene as a product now we can find a reaction so trans tilbin you have taken if you irradiate it will undergo isomerization to give cis tilbin cis tilbin again will undergo irradiation to give dihydrophenanthrene but in a smaller proportion and the reaction is reversible this dihydrophenanthrene will revert back to cystate okay for example if you take uh, 100 molecules of uh, cis tilbin and if you irradiate only 20 molecules will be there in dihydrophenanthrene side remaining 80 molecule will be there on the on the left side okay but once if you get a 20 molecules of dihydrophenanthrene immediately it will react with the excited state oxygen to give phenanthrene that is it will undergo dehydrogenation to give phenanthrene as a product so therefore once the concentration of dihydrophenanthrene gets reduced then immediately some 10 to 15 molecules will come this side immediately it will react with oxygen to give products so like this this reaction proceeds to give phenanthrene even though dihydrophenanthrene is less stable now here you can find the application of some reactions in the first one cyclic alkene look for allylic hydrogen if it is present it will give one, one product if it is absent it will get another type of product so here we have allyl hydrogen two allyl hydrogen either one of the allyl hydrogen will undergo abstraction so you will get corresponding hydroperoxide as a product if you do reduction then you will get allyl alcohol as a product in the second example di substitute dimethoxy alkene no allyl hydrogen so therefore it will, it will proceed through 2 plus 2 addition and it forms dioxetane this dioxetane is somewhat stable and it will further it will undergo reaction to give carbonyl compound if you heat for some time and in third reaction you are going to take indine in presence of oxygen sensitizer this alkene will undergo direct addition 2 plus 2 addition and followed by if you heat for some time this dioxetane immediately it will undergo cleavage to give this product and in fourth example this is analogous of uh, cystilbin in cystilbin here we have alkene system but here we have aryl system okay and like cystilbin this substrate also will undergo type of reaction to produce polycyclic compound and these are the references thank you dear students